my friends, Perilous3D here, back with another episode of Minecraft Vanilla Survival. If you can't already tell, I'm really excited today. I've got some major accomplishments done in the last couple of episodes. Broke through on the nether, got some blaze rods, moving up in the game. I don't know where I'd call it, maybe halfway through our, our little adventure here, so it's a milestone. And um, I thought I would do all these elaborate things between episodes, but I decided to take you along because... These are some of the more exciting parts, as I said, of, of Minecraft, and these accomplishments and these milestones are important to capture sometimes. I don't always do that. Sometimes I'll skip forward or I'll crawl very slowly depending on the project that I'm working on, but other times there's huge gaps between accomplishments, and sometimes it's important to include the viewers in on those little moments of joy when you when you hit that point in, in your world in the game where... You're, you're starting to become self-sufficient. You're starting to get some of those. So those little bonuses like potions starting to come into play. And um, I mean with the blaze rods and the enchanting room. Those are two huge parts of the game. Um, I suppose I could, I could make an anvil here as well. So yeah, yeah. I'm sensing two things for the episode, my friends. Number one, I've already said, which is going to be bringing you along for some of these little joys and accomplishment moments like turning my first blaze rod into blaze powder that's what actually triggered the whole thing to make another episode here and the other thing i want to do is make a fast motion um, sequence maybe i can break out the old uh, replay mod and do like a fast sequence uh, building of a base because i really need a base of my own this is not a base this is just a concrete room <laughs> And it's not, it's not doing it for me, right? This is like the spawn base. So I need my own base. Storma has a, a beautiful base going over there. I don't know if you can see it or not. Uh, still too far away. Even though my view distance is on max, you can't see it from here. I'd have to go up there. And uh, You've seen it in previous episodes if you want to check it out. Uh, once he gets going on that thing and, and polishes it off, I'll do a nice tour to include on one of my videos. But... That to say, I think even Blue has a base around here somewhere, and I want to get mine going. So those are the two things I want to do here for today, my friends. Um, so number one, with my two other blaze rods, I mean, there's there's a couple of things I can do. The first thing, of course, since I have one ender pearl left over, I lost my others, unfortunately, um, is I can make one of these guys. And now... Can finally have another chest, which is an important accomplishment. I think it's something like this, and is it this? Yeah, okay. There we go. And this I'll drop. Let's see. Do I want to even drop it here, or do I want to save it for my base? You know what? I'm gonna drop it over here because we don't even use these. There we go. Good enough for me. Actually, I can put these up here. Boom, boom. There we go. Now all my good stuff, I'm going to stash it away. Sorry, gentlemen, but uh, I'm sure you guys all do the same. You keep your good stuff on you. And it's only, it's only normal. It's only the natural thing to do. Self-preservation is key. That's all I'm going to say. But definitely all this stuff I'm taking with me. I'm even taking my sand. Sand is precious to me because I don't have to farm it if I have some. Right? Maybe even my wool. I'm not sure. I don't even know how much I can hold in here. But starting with the most important stuff, I've got diamond. That's another thing too I wanted to include that I, I normally don't include the viewers in on, which is the diamond um, using using of the diamonds. Uh, I'm definitely not going to drag you along for long grinding sessions of trying to find the diamonds but actually using them to make things is is an interesting thing to do but anyway in order of importance for me diamonds then lapis then i would say in terms of usefulness probably iron and gold and then redstone the rest kind of falls under the same level of usefulness to me We'll just drop it in there. 
get that stuff out of my inventory, but um, the mushrooms I don't need to put in there. Coal, definitely, I want to hold on to my coal. Okay, looking good, looking good. Put the magma blocks in there. Don't know why, but I will. Spider eye and gunpowder, yes. Hopper, yes. Bricks and the leather. And probably the pages just for the halibut. Just for the halibut. Yeah, whatever. Stuff common. Flint, I'm actually... I don't... Ah, that's another thing I need to do is get some chickens. Chicken herding is definitely in order. But the rest of this stuff I'm just going to leave behind. It's, it's common. Next thing on the list would be... Let's see, what are we going to do? I've got diamonds. Oh, a brewing stand. I need a brewing stand badly. So let me look up how to do that again because I forget. Okay, so pretty basic. Good thing I didn't use all my blaze rods. Or turn them into powder. That and cobblestone is all you need. The enchanting table, that's another one. I can use my diamonds for that. And enchanting table is pretty basic, but I don't think I have a book. I'm going to have to slay some... Uh... Oh, it gives me a chance to actually use my, my um, cow farm for the first time. Go see how that works. And then I should have just enough leather. I have one here. I should have just enough leather to make a book. And then I'm going to need a whole bunch of books. There. Let's try that. Yep, there we go. Sweet. Okay. And did I put it in my chest? Oh, I forgot this is broken. Let's fix this. It didn't work. And why didn't it work? Because the hopper is not touching the chest. Or is it? No, it is. So why didn't that work? I'm a little confused by this thing. Yeah, see, there's always a couple that get left behind there, unfortunately. But maybe that's a good thing, because then this part of this little herd of cows will continue to grow and get bigger and then you keep farming these down here so yeah actually that's that's not a bad thing so i'll leave that as is and continue on i might have to just go find some cows and slaughter them because uh this thing is producing very very slowly can't even get it to produce at all so actually maybe um stormont has some it's a good opportunity to go see what uh, he's up to over here Okay, it looks like he's got no cows. He's only got sheep over here, so. Pretty cool place, though. The makings of a nice sandcastle. He's got his first room here. Go up the stairs. This is the tower. He's got his little farm down here. Sheep farm. It's lonely out in these parts, you know? With the little garden going. And if you come over here, a little bedroom with all those goodies. But yeah, I like it. Simple but effective. So as the sun's going down, I'm not going to find any cows over here. I don't think this is going to happen here as far as the enchanting room goes or even enchanting, uh, an enchanting table. But, the good news is I can start doing some brewing now, so that's good. Progress is steady in that regard. And before next time, I hope to have a good amount of cows. That's what I'm going to do, is I'm going to keep building on my cow collection here. Go find some more cows or breed them outside the machine, then put them back in so that it should produce uh, even better. Because the more calves you make at once, the more the machine will produce, right? So that is what I'm going to do, my friends. And you are going to be my pillow. Thank you. But I hope that uh, you enjoyed the episode, my friends. Give it a like. Give it a sub if you did. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.